Barring any last minute intervention by the courts, the state of Texas is just moments away from carrying out the execution of John Henry Ramirez. Ramirez has been on death row since 2009. He was sentenced to death for the July 2004 murder of Pablo Castro. The 46 year old convenience store employee was stabbed and his throat was slashed during a robbery. That brutal crime netted Ramirez and two accomplices just $1.25. Ramirez went on the run but was arrested near Brownsville in February 2008. Ramirez's death warrant went into effect at 6 p.m. That's just a few moments ago, and that means his execution can begin at any moment. And as our Greg Chandler tells us, the wait for closure may be nearly over for one member of the victim's family. It's your time. It's your time to go. Aaron Castro was 14 years old when his father Pablo was brutally murdered by John Henry Ramirez in 2004. Ramirez convicted and sentenced to death in 2009 after four years on the run. In 2017, weeks before his first scheduled execution date, Ramirez showed remorse for what he'd done. I think about all the things I've done and certain situations that I could have went the other way and it would have totally changed the outcome. You know? Stop crying. Stop trying to get around the situation. There's no way out. You need to be executed. Ramirez's sentence was stayed in 2017 and again in 2020. Now 31, Aaron Castro admits he's grown frustrated over the years waiting for justice. You always think uh, this is going to be the year. This is the time. There won't be another state of execution. There won't be another delay. Meanwhile, Ramirez's spiritual advisor, Pastor Dana Moore, visited with Ramirez Wednesday morning. He told me that Ramirez is, quote, handling this as well as can be expected. He's under pressure, but doing well. More will be there when Ramirez dies, as will his relatives and Castro's. Aaron, however, won't be, but he knows closure is coming. He did the crime, and now it's time for him to get his ultimate sentence. Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.